All right, guys. So in my last video, I tested this butter knife and this butter knife has these holes along the bottom and the purpose of this butter knife is supposed you're supposed to be able to like run it across the butter and it's the butter supposed to come through the holes and like curl over and somehow that's supposed to be like better for spreading the butter or in some way. So when I tested this butter knife and I tested it with butter straight out of the fridge and I tested it with butter that had been softened. After that video, you guys made it very clear that I did not let the butter get soft enough because I only let it sit out for maybe like an hour, I think I said, maybe, maybe 30 minutes, something like that, just to get a little bit softer than it would be straight from the fridge. You guys said that I needed to let the butter sit out for 24 hours to soften and then try. So that's what I have here. This has been sitting out on my counter for 24 hours. And also in my defense, I didn't know that this was even a thing. I didn't know that people just let butter sit out on the counter and that you can do that and it would, it'll be fine. Um, growing up, we always had butter that was in a tub and that tub was always in the fridge. So whenever I was approaching this video, my mindset was butter, butter is dairy, dairy goes in the fridge. So that's why I kind of did everything, you know, with the, with the pulling the butter straight out of the fridge or just letting it sit for 30 minutes or an hour or whatever. Because, like I said, I didn't know that people just let sticks of butter sit out on the counter. We're going to try again. And you guys were right, obviously. That butter curls just like it's supposed to. And I would imagine it does it both ways. Yeah. You can see that, that that is exactly like what the picture showed. It curls beautifully. It's actually like oddly satisfying. Okay, so this butter knife, after all, does work as it's designed and it's not uh, complete garbage, like I said. Although the point of this knife was it said that it, um, I think it said it prevented bread tearing. I think that was the original like claim on the package. And it also said that like this way was a better way to spread butter or something. So I don't have enough bread. So with that being said, I have a regular butter knife and I have four pieces of, well, I have two pieces of toast and two pieces of raw toast. I'm gonna spread butter with each one and we're just gonna see if the experience is different. If if this knife, if having the butter curled somehow makes it better, make it, makes it spread better, easier, we'll just see what happens. So I'll spread it onto the toast first. We'll get some, get some curls. It's a little, I kind of don't feel like anything different is happening than like if I was just going to butter a regular piece of toast. Like yeah, it has the curls, but I don't think the curls are really doing much. Okay, so that's a buttered piece of toast. Now it also, like I said before, it said that it would prevent bread tearing. I don't know who really is tearing bread. Yeah, so far this experience doesn't uh, doesn't <laughs> doesn't feel any different than just using a regular butter knife. Yeah. Okay. Now let's use the regular butter knife. I actually think the regular butter knife is getting the job done much faster. Yeah. Let's see if we encounter any of this bread tearing. Oh, I think I see what we're, okay, okay, okay. I think I see what we're dealing with here. It is a little bit tougher. Okay, this, is de this experience is definitely not as smooth, as smooth as it was with this knife. For a little bit careful, the result is basically the exact same, but I do have to say, on the raw toast, the experience using this butter knife was actually a little bit better, and I did start to see some of this, you can see right here in the middle, 
some of this bread tearing that they were talking about, whereas I didn't experience that at all on this. I guess having a, a butter knife that curls the butter, it does help whenever you're spreading it on raw toast. Now, if you're just using it on regular toast, it's not really gonna make a difference. So, the product does work as designed, and uh, it's not complete trash, like I said in the original video. Now, with all that being said, I also tested the butter mill. Pretty sure in the original video, I did show that it did work very well once the butter had been softened, but I did say that it was gonna be useless if you kept your butter in the fridge. But, since apparently you don't keep your butter in the fridge, uh, this has also been sitting out for 24 hours, just like this, and you can see that this just works beautifully I mean, the butter just comes right out, no problem. And you can, like I said before in the original video, you can use the measurements on the side and you can just squeeze out a tablespoon of butter. Or, or you could even, if you wanted to, you could like just squeeze butter out onto your toast or, you know, do whatever. So obviously this thing does work better when the butter is softened. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.